we are going to be playing one of my all-time favorite games called Pharaoh. It is a classic city building game and it's so much fun. I have never actually played through the campaign missions for this game, so I kind of wanted to give it a shot and if you guys enjoy these types of videos, I can keep playing through it. I know that they do get quite difficult as you go along. Uh, the first couple of missions are easy and short, so I will probably end up playing through two of the missions today because of how short the first ones are. So let's start a new campaign. Enter a family name. Let's go with Blue. Alright, not like that. <laughs> okay. And then we can begin our family history. So we start in the pre dynastic period, and it looks like these ones are not available currently. So your family begins the pre dynastic period leading a small band of nomads through the discovery of the arts of civilization. Your leadership helps to set Egypt on its course to eventual greatness, still glimpsed only dimly. Okay, let's click begin. That must be me. Okay, so we're starting in Newt. A village is born, our first village. So our objectives are to have six meager shanties and to create an area of housing and watch immigrants arrive. Welcome to ancient Egypt, land of the pharaohs. Here you'll participate in the history of one of the greatest civilizations the world has ever seen, in an epic story that spans more than 15 centuries and two dozen generations, you must lead one family, generation by generation, from its earliest beginnings in Egyptian prehistory through the dawn of civilization to the establishment of a unique and powerful empire and beyond. Our story begins more than 5,000 years ago along the banks of the Nile River in an area known as Nupt. Here, a small confederacy of clans struggles to eke out an existence in the harsh environment. With you at its head, your family leads this small settlement. Alright, let's go to the city. Okay, so first thing your village will need is housing and roads, of course. Plan roads carefully with as few intersections as possible. Okay. Cool. Alright, it looks like we're going to be hunting for ostriches and let's just build some houses along this road here. Chop off these roads and here they come. And we need water. People need to drink. Let's put a couple of wells in there. So this is our Nile River and our Nile River floodplain. I don't think we're going to be farming in this first mission at all. In fact, we won't be or taking advantage of this marshland over here. Probably just be 
acquiring these ostriches. Right, our people are showing up nicely. We don't have any jobs for them yet, but they seem happy enough to live in their little sturdy huts. It says, this house cannot evolve as it needs a supply of fruit, fruit, food from a local bazaar. little pond over here and so we can't build anything yet here we go all right let's build some hunting lodges build just one of them and a granary Build bazaars to distribute the food stored here. So let's build a bazaar right here. And these guys should be going out and hunting the ostriches. Yep. And are filling up with meat already 200k meat. Well done, you managed to supply this village's granary with food. And now we need clean water. So let's make our water supply. And then, and then this guy should be able to get water. And here's the bizarre woman coming to buy. Food. I like that. Has ambition and drive for the future. Okay, so this woman, we evolved a couple of our houses. Once she gets more food, we should be able to evolve more of them. Nope. So we need six of them, and we have four meager shanties. Here she goes. Oh, we already ran out of food again. So we can even build another hunting lodge, just so we know we have... Oh dear, we have a fire. Fire has broken out in the village. You can now build firehouses to prevent fires. So we'll build it right here, sort of as like an intermediary, intermediary area between everything. Priests predict that the city will be blessed with a perfect inundation. We don't have any priests though. We win. Click to proceed. Well done by filling your people's bellies with a nourishing, delicious ostrich meat and protecting their homes from fire and collapse. You have helped this fledgling civilization take its first step on the long road of history. Very nice. All right, let's click to proceed to the next mission because I think it's only been a short amount of time. Okay, so now we're on to Thinnis, and it's the dawn of civilization. Our objectives are to have 10 ordinary cottages and to mine some gold for the palace's treasury. After many years, the passing of a generation, your family has resettled in the area of Thinnis in Upper Egypt. Here, a small band of local rulers is attempting to extend its influence over Lower Egypt and all lands along the Nile. To ensure this realm, and to unite this realm under its own house with one supreme leader, establishing Thinnis as a thriving city 
like nothing ever seen before, will provide the worthiness of the Thinite Confederacy and help them gain supremacy over Lower Egypt and the other factions vying for power. In time, this will mean providing the population with entertainment and building wonderful temples to worship the region's patron deity. To build a city this grand will require a substantial supply of cash. You'll find rich deposits of gold ore in Dennis, and harvesting them should be your first priority. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is... Okay, so gold and crime. Build a palace to put our gold in, and we need to make sure we build police stations to stop people from stealing our gold. So we have our gold ore over here, and I don't think we'll be crossing the river at any point here. We have ostriches again we can hunt for. So I'm going to start sure I can put my water supply right there. Build some housing. Along there, and cut this off. Then we can build our Looks like we have a firehouse and an architect's post we can build at the end there. And we'll also build... I don't think we'll really need a police station right away. So I'm going to hold back on the police station. Make sure these people are coming in quickly. And we can build our hunting lodge and granary right there. You can even build two hunting lodges. We have to make sure... Oops, I clicked off that really quickly. Employees needed, okay. So we gotta make sure we're watching our city money. Make sure we're not gonna run out of money. Because we're gonna have to come over here and mine this gold, which we can even start working on. So I'm gonna build a couple of gold mines. I know I have to build a city palace, so let me build that first. Build it right there. It needs road access, and it's going to need employees. I'm going to build just one house right here. And if you build just one house, that gives the uh, jet gives this little guy access to the entire work pool. Build a firehouse and an architect's post. We can build our first gold mine right there. So, there we go. We're all functioning up there. Looks like we're getting food. And, oh, right, we need a bazaar. Build the bazaar. And see how far money went down? 846. I'm gonna build another gold mine just so we're really getting that cash flowing in. Okay. We should probably build that police station as well so they don't start stealing our money. So the unrest won't start. We can even check our unrest. Crime. Okay, there isn't any crime going on, so we're doing good. Okay, 
So these people are getting food. Fortunately, the desirability isn't that good of the area and we really can't do anything about that. Mm. Okay. Guess we just have to wait until new buildings open up for us. And let's check this out. Okay, so we're going up in cash, that's nice. We even want to build another gold mine. So we really get the money rolling in. Build one right there. Aha, the gods of Egypt. We have Osiris, god of the Nile. Ra, god of the kingdom. Ptah, god of the craftsmen. Seth, the god of destruction and war. And Bost, goddess of the home. So let's build our first temple. We could build a temple to Bost. And let's build it. Okay, entertainment too, as well, is opened up. Okay, let's build our first temple over here. And we gotta build our first booth, which I think can go right here. And then we can build our first juggler school right at the end there so that the walkers will just walk down and pass them. The only way we can get additional desirability in this mission is if we build shrines. But let's see. It's a rough cottage. Okay, it looks like they all need additional desirability in order to evolve. Hmm. Shrines must be within two spaces to have an effect on the city. That's fine, we're not really going to be using them for religious purposes. We just have to use them to build up the desirability of the area. So we have our first ordinary cottages right there. And we can build more shrines. We have enough money. Eight ninety nine. Right, we really just need these guys to evolve, and I think I think that's all we gotta do because I don't think we'll be able to make pottery in this mission. This is like the cheating way to win. <laughs> okay. All right, we won the second mission, you guys. That was, that was pretty good. We're chugging along pretty good here. Okay, proceed. Excellent. You have built the first true city in this unforgiving land, providing for your citizens' corporal and spiritual needs, and have helped the Thinai Confederacy unify the divided land. Okay, you guys, I want to thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy this series a little bit. Um, I really love playing these games and would enjoy playing them more for you. So let me know what you think, and uh, thank you so much again.